animation video on the countdown timer that I've created. And uh, you can see these kind of uh, timers in many games such as um, Farmville and Mafia Wars or whatever other games where you need to you know wait a specific amount of time either to build something or to upgrade a weapon or to play again or whatever. So basically I've made it as simple as I can. I've, I have everything on one scene. And I have this uh, these four actors here. Uh, mostly the operations is what matters. The time bar is just, you'll see everything in a minute. Uh, and what you need to know really is just this attribute right here, the recharge time in seconds. Basically, you can change that to whatever number you want, and uh, that will account for how long until the time the, the countdown timer has. And then once it reaches that much seconds, it'll recharge or whatever you want it to do. And just I'll explain really quickly what the basic idea is here. Uh, there's these two tables. The last recharge table just basically tracks when. Uh, the last recharge or fill up or power up or whatever it was. So nothing special there. And then you have this four year table I've created, which uh, is basically just a four year cycle. Um, I've chosen this method since this will um, take into account the leap year, that extra day in February, and therefore uh, make it just work at all times as opposed to um, like just a one year cycle since that you know you, you could a problem could arise around that 29th of February but yeah you don't really need to know what's going on there and uh, basically what I've done is in this operations actor ooh that's not good what was that Oh yes, I deleted something there, so don't worry about that. Uh, basically, what the process is, is it first calculates how many seconds since uh, the beginning of year 2012, and then it also will calculate the time, it, time right now, how many seconds from right now since 20, 2012 and then just take the difference and then that difference is just going to be your countdown timer if you don't understand what I'm talking about don't worry just as long as you know to change this one attribute here everything will work out but basically uh, the reason I mentioned that is because I take everything relative to the beginning of the year 2012 and that's just you know a reference point Either way, I will take two different times, the time when uh, we begin the countdown and the final countdown. And once you take the difference, it won't matter what your reference year is. So let me just show you what this all looks like. Uh, I have this one action button here. It, this could be whatever you want. Let's say upgrade weapon or build uh, you know, factory. I've just made it feed as if I'm feeding my pet. And then since I had the recharge attribute set at 100 seconds, you get this timer here of 100 seconds. And it's already formatted to turn into 1 minute and 40 seconds, I believe it started. And this, this actor here is just that bar that I was talking about earlier. It's just going to get narrower and narrower as we get closer and closer. And as you can see, this faded out. Once we hit 0, this will fade in. I'm not going to bother waiting the one minute. You can take my word for it that that will happen. And here's the cool thing. Um, if this app was to turn off, and I will simulate that right now by pausing it. Um, if you were to come back and restart the app, or uh, just even just not have actually restart it, but just go back into the app, uh, like this timer is still sort of running. It's not actually running, but as soon as you load it up, it will do all the calculations there for you. So let me just show you now. That reset right there should simulate a new startup. And you can see that the timer was at 30, even though before we closed it, it was at around 50-ish. 
So that's something cool uh, that a lot of people have been asking on the forums. And it's just a cool uh, idea for whatever games that you guys are going to build. You can plug this in. You can use this in many ways. And yeah, I guess just have fun with it. And here the time is going to run out and I'll show you that everything does in fact work. There you go. See that feed actor well, is once again active. And just play around with it. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks.